everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my delicious cheesy no cheese veg pasta. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious cheesy no cheese veg pasta. Now this recipe is really easy to do and it's a great one for midweek or even a quick meal at the weekend. It makes a really nice lunch and it makes a brilliant dinner as well. I have done a similar version of this and I will link that video in the description box below for you but this is slightly different. I think in the last video I may have roasted the vegetables but this time I'm going to cook them on the stove and then I'm going to add some cream cheese and some pasta and it's making me feel really hungry right now. So I'm going to get on and video it. So here is how to make my delicious cheesy no cheese veg pasta. So as always for those of you who watch these videos regularly I am going to put a large pan onto a high heat on my hob and I'm just going to let that heat up and I'm going to add a bit of oil to the base of the pan like so, a little bit more and I'm just going to brush the oil around the base of the pan until the pan is evenly coated in the oil like so. And I'm just going to leave that to heat up now. So my oil has started to sizzle which is a good sign. So I'm going to add in one sliced and diced onion. So I've peeled and I've uh, sliced and then diced an onion. And I'm just going to fry this now until it becomes soft, um, sort of translucent. So see through basically. The onions have started to soften now, so I'm going to add in um, two whole cloves of sliced garlic as well to that. Um, you can have one to two. If you're not a fan of garlic, then you don't have to add any garlic at all. I, we really like garlic in this house. My son and I love it. I roast it in the oven sometimes when I make chips and uh, my son will actually eat that. I'm quite surprised. It's quite a strong flavour but he does really like it. So so I always try to add garlic to as much as possible because it is a vegetable and my son being a non-vegetable eater apparently um, it's a good way to get some sort of veg into him as well. So yeah, so I'm going to keep frying these now until these start to soften. I think they have started to. So I'm going to add in one sliced and diced red pepper to that as well. And one sliced courgette as well. Now normally in a lot of my videos I have in the past grated my courgette. Um, because my son is not a great veg eater as I've just said. But sometimes I just fancy a bit of chunky veg in my meals and I like to taste the courgette not all mixed in with the tomato so today I'm going to slice the courgette I've sliced the courgette and if he doesn't like it well mummy wants it this way so I like it so yes yeah, I'm just going to stir these round now until these start to sort of soften they won't go very soft but at least until they've got a bit of colour in them um, then just keep stirring them round in the pan. But don't worry if they don't soften because you are going to add tomatoes to this as well in a moment. So they don't really need to be too soft because you'll leave them in the pan as well. So yeah, that looks great. They've got a lot of colour in them now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my tomatoes as well. So I've got two well, you'll probably have tins. I've got cartons, two cartons of chopped tomatoes that I'm just going to add to this. I'm just going to set that aside for the moment. And then I'm just going to bring all of this to the boil. So it's now coming to the boil, which is brilliant. And I'm going to turn the heat down on that now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons, if I can get it out of here, of tomato puree as well. So there's one. Oh, 
and there's another one. And then I'm also going to add a teaspoon of oregano as well. Or oregano, I think they call it in America, don't they? So yes, I'm just going to add that in as well. I'm just going to keep stirring these round. I'm going to turn the heat down a little more as well because everything's heating up very nicely in there at the moment. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this as well. So just a pinch of salt, a couple of pinches of salt and a little pinch of pepper as well. Pe salt and pepper to your taste too. So I'm just going to stir those in and then I'm going to leave this to simmer and I'm going to cook my pasta now. So I've cooked my pasta as per the packet instructions and I've siphoned off a little bit of the sauce as well for me tomorrow. My husband and son don't really like leftovers for lunch. They prefer having a sandwich or something like that. So I normally just have the leftovers from whatever's left. But I've siphoned myself off a little bit of sauce and I'll have some pasta tomorrow for my lunch. I'm really looking forward to that. This is for our dinner this evening and I'm so hungry right now. I could eat this all up. Um, anyway, I will get on with the video now. So I have a large bowl of spinach here. So I've probably got about two handfuls of spinach that I'm just going to add to that. Um, and I'm going to stir that in until it all wilts down. And I've cooked my pasta as per the packet instructions. And I've just left it to one side for a moment. So now the spinach is all wilted down. I'm going to add in my pasta. Now in the original recipe... I said to use two courgettes and two peppers, but as I'm only doing this for like three meals and a little one, I've used large, a large pepper and a large courgette. So please use whatever you want to in this recipe. Um, and then I'm going to add my cooked pasta in. And finally, I'm going to add in my cream cheese now this is my cashew nut cream cheese and i made this earlier and i keep promising you that i will make this as a video one day to show you how to make it i keep promising you and i'm still trying to get round to that so just be patient with me because i will get there in the end i promise and then i'm going to add a big spoonful of the cashew nut cream cheese now if you don't like cashew nuts and you're okay on dairy you could add cream cheese to this as well that is really delicious and also in the original recipe i've said to use basil but i actually can't eat basil now so i don't add any basil to this but if you want to add basil then please do um, i'm going to just add a little bit more of the cream cheese to that there you go and that is our dinner done so that's how you make my delicious cheesy no cheese veg pasta and that recipe i will link in the description box below for you but for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button See you all soon. Bye.